in Daves. And what I'm going to do is give you a quick tutorial of everything on Sellerboard just so that you've got a much better idea um, about it. So this is January 2023, nice and accurate. So the first thing you'll notice is here's the dashboard. So let's go through the tabs um, nicely and effectively and quickly just so that you can see your way around it. Um, and if you do want to try it, two months free trial with absolutely no credit card on sign up, then hit my link below. Um, and that will be, uh, yeah, awesome. So anyway, today, so we can look at today, yesterday, month today this month forecast and then last month you can see all the tiles here which is a really clear and crisp way of seeing your profit you can click more on all of them down here and get a good breakdown uh, and this guys this is literally going to take everything into account advertising costs shipping costs any inbound shipping costs from Amazon so you're not actually any VAT you're not missing any profit um, you know you're going to get an actual accurate profit uh, a lot of Amazon sellers got a problem with actually getting accurate profit this will give you a much more accurate profit Profit rather than just giving you some deluded amount of profit that you think you're going to make. We've got yesterday, you can click into them all and then it will actually give you a breakdown of all the products down here. And then a further breakdown there on each individual product so you can actually figure out any loss, loss leaders you got there or anything like that. You can also look at last month and get a full breakdown here of the net profit. Just to check, you know, sometimes as Amazon sellers, it's really important for us to actually go ahead and check, um, you know, what's making us make less or more money than what we thought, and then we can start doing more or less of that. You can also put this in the chart format here, profit and loss here, or the trends here. So it's a really good, really good, you know, sort of set of profit in. Um, you also got the PPC over here, so I haven't actually used this yet, um, but I need to dive into this soon. So there's a real, real accurate PPC thing. I've seen a lot of people go on about this uh, on YouTube, saying how good this is on here. Um, so n n depending on what campaign you pick, etc., and what product, it's going to tell you the sales here. Uh, it's going to tell the A cost and the profit per thing, um, and it will actually tell you exactly how much has been, you know, you've spent on PPC from your Amazon account, as you can see there. Uh, all periods, or you can pick a period, last 30 days, or different campaigns, etc. So that's quite cool. You know, there's not many, there's not another software I know that actually digs deep into your PPC and stuff. Moving down to the next section here, so we've got the products here, and you've actually got the individual products, so we can enter the cost of goods here. I usually enter it without the VAT on the products, um, and then it will give us an, a, an accurate profit rating after the VAT has been deducted from your end. Um, you then have got the VAT rate you can enter here, um, and then the cost of goods you can actually pick by what period or by what batch, which is really cool. You've got constant there, or by period, as you can see, and then you can pick, because sometimes, you know, if you've been sourcing a product for two pounds and then three months later it goes down to one pound, you don't want the profit to be misaligned by just having to enter, you know, an average of one pound fifty, which you could, but it's much better to enter it by period and then you can actually get an accurate 100% profit on how much you're making. We've also got an expenses tab here, which is cool, so you can literally go through all the expenses that you've possibly got, um, photo shooting, accounting software, tax consultant, warehouse, etc, etc, um, and then obviously you can pick you know, the, the, the ranges here categories or marketplace filter by whatever you want so yeah really cool there's no getting away of all the fees so that at the end of the month as i say that will all come off your dashboard your total profit and then we've got the ltv here allows you to analyze your customer's lifetime value which is really cool um you get your average customers generate for their lifetime as a customer understand the ltv can help you put together an effective marketing plan for customer acquisition plan your cac customer acquisition cost and evaluate how much you make so yeah pretty cool um, once again don't know another software that does this um, so you know sale per customer the average sale per customer um, sales per buyer pretty cool um, first time I've delved deep into this last 24 months you can see the sales per buyer um, per units really cool actually really cool per buyer and then we can go to these different tabs here yeah, this is something I really need to dive deep into, actually. Yeah, so we can see we can see them regular customers that we're getting there on a regular basis, which is really cool. And then you can figure out what to put more in depth in your marketing. 
Um, looking at cash flow here, this tool allows you to manage your cash flow by clicking the add button. You can enter your additional investment in the business and amount paid for goods as well as dividends and VAT. Um, Amazon uh, payouts and expenses are filled in automatically. The Force Club will help you plan the amount of available cash to make the right management decision. So this is really cool. A lot of sellers uh, struggle with cash flow. Um, so what you can actually do here is get predictions there. As you can see, investments, the payout, and then we can get predictions um, uh, uh, and then we can actually look back on past payouts and stuff like that and just as I say plan the cash flow really nicely yeah um, then it's got all the expenses on top here as well yeah really cool really cool we can hover over each graph there look purchasing goods expenses and then we've got investments payout yeah so really cool nice um, we can do any reports here so all of your reports by the month, um, dash by product, orders, sales, repeat customers. You can, All of these reports, just click on them and it will download them straight away. Excel or C, CSV, a lot of companies like to work like that. Got the inventory planner here. Purchase orders, FBA shipments. We can click on that and actually see what shipments... <coughs> We can actually see what shipments are in receiving stage or closed stage in transit. So you can track all this. Really good for my business manager to come on here and actually just see where the shipments actually are. Um, and then uh, percentage of units received actually tells us there as well. So this is a really good thing um, you know, to keep track of all your shipments rather than having to find them all in Seller Central, which is a little bit all over the place sometimes. Got suppliers here. Um, and then coming down here, one of the most important things, in my opinion, is this one here, the lost and damaged. Um, so this will tell you the estimated reimbursements amounts. And then you can download these reports contact seller support following this guidance my business manager does this all the time and i'm not exaggerating when i tell you we have got thousands of pounds back since using seller board just in the last few months from my va doing this process every single week so it's well worth getting just up guys you don't need a credit card by the way you don't need a credit card to sign up to the free trial for this so i would highly recommend you go ahead and do this jump straight on it get the estimated reimbursement amount so that you're not missing out on thousands of pounds once your business gets to a certain stage or it might be just a few quid or a hundred quid every little helps in your early days um guys you can also enter it with ebay there and shopify so this this is a real sort of ultimate profit tracking software for amazon sellers and ebay sellers shopify sellers anyone doing e-commerce in general okay so we've got all these little tabs here we've got the planner as well cost of goods so what we can actually do here with the inventory another thing i love here if you go into inventory and planner we can see our current cost of goods gives us a real good overview on the business uh, potential sales that we're going to get with the current uh, products that are in um, the FBA fulfillment center and then the potential profit so I love logging on looking at this in December and then when we've got loads and loads of stock and then it gives us a really good idea of how to track how much profit we're actually going to we're actually going to make and also having that cost of good there gives you an idea of how much your business is actually worth in terms of the stock um, and then the only thing this isn't taking into account is obviously the stock that's on the way to the, the fulfillment center um, oh obviously look sent to FBA so it will actually take that into account what I meant is this it won't take into account anything that's getting sent to your prep center before it's sent to FBA so apart from that you get a really good overview so in general guys you get a really really good overview here of everything that's going on with your e-commerce company i'd highly recommend you checking out getting the free trial absolutely nothing to lose and i will see you in the next video